All right, so here's an experiment I've been curious about for quite a while, and that's trying ProMix in uh, one of my AB Grow test pails just to kind of see how well it drains. My speculation is it's gonna get extremely waterlogged, and that's why I've been going with the Perlite. So, uh, I'm going to set up an AB comparison with the ProMix in the one pail, and uh, the other one's going to have Perlite. Everything else is gonna be the same. Going to use general hydroponics nutrients, and I haven't quite picked out the seeds yet, uh, but we'll take a look and plant some seeds and see what we get. I'll be throwing a time lapse of that puppy growing on my other channel there, just out of curiosity. Kind of fun to watch these things get monstrously big. Just for perspective, that is three pails by three five gallon pails, and the leaves have covered the entire top, so it's about three feet by three feet. So I'm going to set these experiments up in my AB grow pails the same way as usual, using my uh, net cups. I will line them both with cheesecloth. This is especially uh, important this time around with that ProMix, not getting in the pails and plugging up those pumps, so that's definitely going to have to happen. And then the uh, seeds for the mix here that I'm going to use, uh, I'm thinking probably uh, some clover. Peas is my go-to, and I always like my daikon radishes, and because I've grown them in so many things, I'm gonna keep with the daikon radishes, just because they're they're my staple, and I know kind of what to expect with those. All right, it looks like that PPM is 482 in the left side, and we got a 494 on the right-hand side, so pretty dang close. All right, starting pH in the left-hand side. I've got it all pH'd up there. It looks like it's right by six. I had to add three ml pH up to both pails to kind of get them there. And there's the right hand side as well. You can see that's uh, right in the pH range, so that's looking good. All right, all the seeds are planted. I'm just gonna cover them up and uh, we can start this uh, experiment. I guess this time around, there's gonna be no such thing as a mystery of what's A and what's B. Oh well, you'll get to see the results anyway. All right, there we go. Everything is planted up and ready to go. The watering timer should be coming on here in about the next uh, minute or two, and uh, everything is gonna be underway. Stay tuned, camera's gonna get set up on the far end there, and uh, we'll get a time-lapse of the whole grow as usual.
as you can see here, the uh, left side and the right side, there's a pretty clear difference between the Coco Coyer and the uh, Perlite. The clear winner, no qualm test, is the right hand side for this one in the Coco Coyer. Next up we've got the Daikon radishes on the left and on the right. Same thing here, left side is Perlite and the uh, right side is the Coco Coyer. These are both pretty close. I'm going to pull the roots uh, apart and we can see the uh, actual fruiting portion of either daikon to see which one uh, produces a bigger fruit. With all the roots removed, I think the left side, the perlite here, has an advantage over the right side. There is a piece of root that is missing on this guy, but uh, still overall mass on this guy. It's definitely bigger. There's a tiny one in here. These are two kind of tinier ones, but the uh, bigger one on the side. So pretty close on uh, the daikon radishes. Last up we got the winter field peas and this is a no contest. The coco coir absolutely laid a spanking on uh, just the perlite here. If I take a look at the water level in the pails as well, it looks like the uh, right hand side with the coco coir definitely consumed more water which uh, is very interesting and it kind of lets me know I should have probably terminated this experiment a little sooner. I'm now kind of wondering if the daikons might have done better if I would have terminated the experiment sooner because there's more nutrient solution left over in the one pail. Anyway, either way, I think this is going to be more of a crop specific grow. So depending on what you're growing you might get better results in the perlite and you might get better results in the uh, coco coir. Whatever. Um, take the results, make your own decisions. So we did the uh, pH measurements as well and uh, both are pretty close, about to 6.2, almost identical for uh, both pails there. So no fluctuations in uh, pH that uh, would cause any kind of alarm. I'll check out the uh, PPM and we'll get those video uh, results for you. Looks like our PPM is 170 for the perlite pail and we've got a PPM of 269 in the right hand side pail. But noticeably, there is a lot less uh, nutrient solution left over on the right hand side. Uh, but say probably a third, about three liters left in the left and uh, a liter maybe in the right. It looks like it's definitely going to be plant dependent. So there's results, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Next test I'm going to be doing is a watering frequency. I want to see if I'm watering too much or too little. So I'm going to uh, take and make a different watering uh, frequency video that's coming up in the uh, video and that'll be posted on the side when it's done. 